It is 631. Uh, we are following breaking news this morning. A police standoff has closed a major intersection in Milwaukee's Midtown neighborhood. Police have been on scene now for more than six hours near Fond du Lac and North. That is right by the old Milwaukee Mall. 12 News Zoe Henry joins us live near the scene this morning. And so Zoe, we know that police are still there on scene and it does remain active. Yeah, we've seen uh, police moving around the area. You can see, see the blue lights behind me. We've seen flashing lights at that building, the old Milwaukee Mall there. And we did learn this morning it's because of a police standoff. And so we know that there is a large perimeter around the old Milwaukee Mall, at least five blocks, 20th and North down to 25th and North Fond du Lac and Garfield to at least Meineke this morning. And again, the old Milwaukee Mall is vacant, but we have seen flashing lights in there. Um, we saw a drone around the area. We saw tactical vehicles surrounding this building doing patrols this morning. And again, we are so far away from this scene right now because police told us to stay out of the line of fire this morning, again, indicating a tactical tactical situation is happening at the old Milwaukee Mall. Now, um, we did reach out to police multiple times and still have not heard back as far as why they're here other than that police standoff we did learn about this morning. Zoe Henry live near Fond du Lac in North in Milwaukee's old, uh, Midtown neighborhood. Zoe, thank you. Matt Salemi is a new shopper 12 with an exclusive look at the scene from above. Matt, what are you seeing from your vantage point? Well, our vantage point is a little further than Zoe's, as a matter of fact, because the vice president's in town and there's a five mile no fly zone. But I can see we're looking down Fond du Lac Avenue right now, and right about 27th Street is where you can see that squad is blocking traffic off. And there's another squad down about a mile or so uh, with the other side of that closure. And a moment ago, we just saw a look like a flashlight or a, a police's uh, car spotlight shine on the side of a couple of buildings right here. But it looks like they've shut that off quickly. Uh, so. Unfortunately, because of that no fly zone, we're not able to see very much from above this scene. Matt, thank you for that update. As Matt just mentioned, Vice President.